Good evening. We have a quorum. We'll call the planning board meeting to order. And first up for general information, Mr. Dwyer. That would be Jonathan Carr. Um, yep. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, should I should I start? Absolutely. You're up. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so Jonathan Carr, 295 River Drive, um, businesses, cars, cider house. And we have a we have a farm stand at that location, and we're um, applying for a sign permit um, to go in front of the farm stand right there. And um, I I sent some information about the proposed location and uh, a, a picture of it and a plot plan. Um, you know, we're, we're I'm not really sure about what the the proper setbacks should be. Um, we're hoping to go. You know, not super close to the road, but but fairly fairly close, just so there's visibility. There's there's a, you know, there's a some vegetation and that kind of thing. Just want to make make sure people can see it when they're driving down the road. So, so I forwarded his package about two weeks ago. If anyone remembers it, uh, if not, I can uh, try to bring up some of the pictures. Yeah, maybe you should do that, Bill. Okay. Let me see. You own the orchard up on the mountain, right? Yep, that's right. This is full disclosure time. Back in the 60s when a guy named Mitchell owned it. Right. A few people from North Adley used to go up there and uh, take apples. I don't know who, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard those stories. All right. Let me get in there and... Um, First of all, uh, this is the property, and this is uh, this is River Drive up here, Lake Warner back here. Um, this is some of the Makretsky property. Um, and then uh, the cross street uh, is up just off the top of the screen, Sockbridge. Right, okay, yeah. So it's in Mike and my neighborhood, in Joe's neighborhood. Oh. So that's the location and the sign we are looking at. Hmm. Is that wants to. Are you seeing the sign now? Yep. Yeah. Very good. Okay. That's the sign you want to put up? Yep. Yep. My daughter painted it for us. Okay. It's certainly going to conform and you're allowed. Anyway, I forgot you're in the limited business limited business zone. Mm -hmm. So where do you grow the, the, the meat that's sold at the store? Uh, that's up on the orchard too. Really? Just, yeah, sheep and pastured poultry. So this is, is does this enter into farm exemption territory or not? No. It's, in a, limited, it's in a limited business district, so it doesn't really matter. It's got a, he's a okay. business limited right in the right area. Okay. Looks like it's not more than four by four. That's, that's yeah. correct. So. So the only thing we can't tell you is, um, exactly where it has to be on your property uh it can't be in the public right of way so the let me go back which often confuses people because this, because the town right away goes beyond the pavement uh -huh. People often think, but that's my property. I've been mowing that. Well, no, you've been mowing the town right away. Right. Okay. What's the setback requirement? It's 15 feet, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I thought. From the right away? Correct. River Drive right there is fairly wide. So I'm going to guess that uh, town property is probably relatively close to the pavement. 
Yeah, I don't know. What's the right of way there? 50 or 75 feet? Normally 50. 50. But I'm not positive in that area on River Drive. So that's, if it's a, that's an old layout. So it's really. Um, okay, let me see if this brings up. Yeah. Um, so this is an old layout. Um, and uh, usually what they call the variable width. Um, what you would probably need to do is contact a surveyor for some guidance. Um, you probably had a plot plan prepared when you bought the property, which would show the general outlines, kind of like the uh, tax map, but um, the plot plan might have a little more detail or you might talk to a surveyor about just being sure that you're putting the sign on your property and not on the, uh, on the town property. And you'd want it back as far as you could, but I understand you, you do have some growth around there. So uh, it, the important thing is it be on your property. Okay. What's uh, the size of the sign? Four, four by four. Four yeah. by four. 16 square feet. Do we count both sides? Uh, no. Just one side. Yeah. So, I mean, everything is within compliance. Any other comments or uh, questions? Motion to approve the sign? Uh, it's, it's not illuminated, right? It's just a... Uh... No, it's just, uh, okay. just a plain wooden sign. Okay. No questions. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve. I would second it. Well, motion, uh, second. Any other discussion? Any I'll other discussion? Where it's going to go, Bill? What's well, that? this is just a warning to him that it has to be on his property, and it's up to him to find out what that is. You know, we'll approve the sign. We cannot approve putting it on town property. So it is going to be incumbent on Mr. Carr to find out where his actual property line is and get it set back as far as you reasonably can from that. Okay, understood. So building inspector will take it over from here then. Yeah. We have, a mo we have a motion and a second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Anytime you want to stop sharing, Bill, that's... Yep. I like to see Joe's face big and bright. I believe next up is Matt Walsh, but you don't look like a Matt Walsh. Walsh. This is oh. Pamela Brealy, who yes, it is. we tried yes. to get connect with last uh, two weeks ago. Yes. And, uh, and I was using Matt Walsh's computer, and it had no audio. Uh, oh, you got you got mad. Oh, you got mad. You, you got mad. You are up the. Are you minute. kidding? Yes. All the, right. So make your, make your speech. Here it is. I got to get this done now. I'm representing Tim's sign and lighting. Uh, we're proposing to do a switch out on Sally Beauty on Russell Road. Um, is it Russell Road or Russell? It's Russell Street. Street. Yep. Yeah, for, uh, eight, for 458. All right. So all we're doing is that Sally's has decided to change it. It from Sally, their logo is no longer going to be Sally Beauty and um, a, uh, Beauty and uh, what was it? Beauty and something. Hold on. Beauty and uh, I, uh, hang on a sec. Let me get this up. Yeah, it's like they were, uh, they've always been for the longest time. They've been Sally's Beauty and I think, um, could you read, what is it? Sally's supply. Beauty. That's right. But they always had supply in there. So now you can see from where we, they are here, Sally Beauty Supply, they're going to go to just Sally Beauty. Originally, when they, the first plans that came in were over your 40 um, a foot square footage minimum. 
or maximum rather. So we have them go back and there's a second set of plans that show the square footage now of that sign is 33.3 square feet. They, lo they shortened it. And I submitted another set of plans. Okay, so this is not the one no, this one, you can see where the S goes right, all the letters, the channel letters go right to the top. Yeah. Well, that was too big for your, um, for what you uh, have for a maximum. So we, ch we went back to them and asked them to, re to change it, to have their engineers revisit it. And so they've come up with the um, height of the letters are now two, six, two feet, six inches. Whereas before, I think they were three. It says three foot seven or something like that. Okay. Yeah, so now you'll, in the next set of, uh, I don't know why the other set of plans aren't here, but I did attach them uh, to show that the lettering, it now qualifies. Did, it meets you your- see, Okay, did you send those plans to the planning board or to the building department? Well, I sent a set to you, but then I also I also submitted it on your website. Okay, then that's the building department. We don't accept anything. We don't accept any filings on our website. All right. Well, I did send a copy to you, and I think to Dee Dee at one point. Okay. Of, so let me, uh, the new what, one. What email would you have sent that from? Uh, it would have been from Tim's Signs and Lighting. And it, I think the revision it, uh, was, uh, let me just see the date of the revision. It was five, 529. 529. The revision date is 523.22. 523, okay. Yeah, 523, originally they were done on, uh, on March 22nd. Okay. I found, found your email, so okay, good. hang on a second. All right. Um, okay, let me get this one shared. Okay. Um, yes, see, you can see on this one here, it's smaller. The lettering, the channel letters are smaller to qualify or uh, conform with your uh, requirement. I see the three foot seven isn't actually for their letters. It must be for the... What, what sign is on the building? What, what space are you taking over? Who was there? Sally, S-A-L-L-Y, beauty. It's the same store. We're not changing um, anything okay. other than the signage. Okay. So the picture in the upper right-hand corner is the existing sign. It's the existing sign. right now. Okay. And been, All right. Yes. Okay. I got they you. They want right. to change their logo. Okay. And okay. so we want, now this will be illuminated, but we do not do the electrical. We just connect to the existing power. So your existing so, sign is illuminated. Yes. This one's already illuminated. Yes. Internally. And what we're going to do here is just take those letters off and put these letters on. Okay. And underneath here, there's a you know canopy signage. Uh, it's, it's another page. All we do is vinyl. We're not attaching anything other than, I mean, the sign stays there and we just attach the vinyl. Okay. And then we're also going to be doing two tenant panels and the uh, pylon sign, which is also in the brand book. We just want to show that the Sally's, that whole, I'll keep going. Oh, there's a two yeah, see right here. Oh, you can, you can see it on the bottom. We're changing those two panels on both sides. Okay. Just to the new um, image. Yeah. Okay. So that's all we're doing. Yes, those are, um, that's just vinyl. We're not changing the signage and they're not illuminated. Okay. You're referring vinyl, not to the one that it's attached to the building, but- the Oh no, one. those are channel letters. Okay. Yes. You're, you're talking about the, the pylon sign near the- uh, The road. road. Yeah. The, big, the big tall one. Yes, that's going to be um, 
that's illuminated, but we don't do that. All we do is replace one t panel that says Sally's Beauty and uh, Supply to just Sally Beauty, as you can see. Okay. I will make a motion to approve as revised May 23rd, 2022. Thank you. I would second it. We have a motion, Thank you. A motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you You're so welcome. much. We will get a letter to the building inspector and you can go and get your building permit or chain, sign change, whatever you need. Thank you so tomorrow. much. They've been waiting. Thank you. Okay. Um, it is 646. We'll reopen the public hearing for Mr. Sykowski. And I believe all we are waiting for on this because everything has been addressed is just to... Make a motion and vote, unless you gentlemen have something to add. I'm going to put the motion up there if I can find it. Okay. Okay. Mr. Dwyer is not participating. He's only taking notes and he will be um, essentially oh. typing everything up, but he has a conflict. So we um, the motion is to approve the application for site plan approval special permit and to approve the application for solar special permit based upon the following findings and upon the following conditions. And I'm not gonna read and bore, bore everybody to death out of this stuff because it's right in front of you. You get a copy. And uh, unless we put a special condition in here and there, pretty much what you're seeing in front of you is what will be typed up and put into the actual decision as you receive it. It is keyed to the Plans as most recently revised. Yep. Um, uh, Agrivoltaic. Okay. Ground mounted. Um, um, obviously, shall not become effective until everything's been posted and so on and so forth. Uh, performance security. Um, let me just touch on that. Uh, we did you. get um, an estimate, and I sent that around to everybody, but. Um, Basically, the estimate uh, was um, that's to decommission. To decommission. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I can't bring that up simultaneously. I don't think, or I'm not going to try to bring it up. But that, the uh, but that estimate that, that was thirty three thousand zero seventy five dollars. The estimate was actually twenty two thousand zero fifty. Right. And then um, escalation. Or uh prevailing wage right gotcha um we have to uh we have to allow for that so that is okay yeah okay. right cancel um so that is why we came up with the 33075 figure yep okay and everything else is pretty much boilerplate Otherwise, it's a very uncomplicated site. Oh, and it seems like a pretty thorough presentation we've had over yeah, the last was, month or two. It was a very good presentation made last week by the applicant yeah. and his constituents, if you would. So um, I'll make the motion. I yeah, I would second it. We have a motion and a second. Any have, other discussion? I have no questions. Hearing none. All in favor? Do, do a roll call on this one. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, hearing no other comment, Mr. Zagrodnik. Aye. Mr. Dunn. Aye. Mr. Sarzinski. Aye. Mr. Dwyer. Uh, abstain. Jim Max and Mr. Maximowski is aye. So we have a motion of four, zero with one abstention. Motion passes. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you all very much. Thank this you. Thank you very much. Mr. Sykowski, there's a lot of people interested in seeing this project. I'd like to see it work too. <laughs> Good, because I mentioned that it, we have a we have a town department head meeting once a month. And I mentioned that this, this, 
We actually had the meeting the day after our last uh, public hearing on you on two weeks ago. And people were really interested in this when I mentioned it. I said, we got a kind of a state of the art project coming up in town. And um, even Pine Valley Planning Commission is interested in this. I think it's a good spot for it. Yeah, it's uh, good luck. Thank you again. As long as the IRS isn't interested in it, you're, you're doing well. <laughs> I'll keep a low profile. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Kate. Um, next up. Um, so um, we had uh, Doug Serrell come in. Oh, I guess he must be part of the group. Right. I think they're the only, the only people left is us. Yeah. Mr. Gennadik is here for an observant. And Tommy, do you have anything for us or Dee Dee? Wake up. They're probably still eating dinner. <laughs> yeah. There we're we are. Usually... Yeah, we're, we're here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Sorry. We're in the truck right now, but we're here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think we have nope. anything, uh, but we are still meeting tomorrow. Correct, Jim? Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We'll see you then. Very good. Um, I just for information, did. I am meeting with uh, Dee Dee and I forget whoever the person is. They're almost done scanning the building department drawings into the, with the scanner. And they're going to about to start on the planning board drawings. And she's going to show me basically the format of what they're doing, see if it meets our needs. And we'll, they will start uh, electronically filing our reams of planning board drawings that are in the files. Going back to 1873 or? It dates back to 1961. Oh, I was just kidding. Wow. Yeah. Well, that should keep them busy. So, I mean, some of them are, I'm not sure how some of them are going to scan because they're obviously the old drawings are a little bit brittle. Um, but, I mean, they are readable. Maybe by taping them up, we'll see how they come out. Yeah. So, Who was on the planning board back then? Any idea? Yep. Mr. Uh, John Mish, um, Chet Kulikowski. Hang on a sec. I'll bring up the uh, Kostick. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, uh, Mike Kostick. Mike Kostick. Uh, Lipsky. John Lipsky. And one more. Uh, well, oh, Joe Weinstick Sr. Joe Weinstick Sr. Right. Or perhaps we should recognize the passing of Greg Mish. Was I was just going to say, friend, by the friend way, of most did. of us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I'd like to, you know, all we're on it, recognize Greg Mish, recent passing from the Board of Health. He's been on that board for a long time, and he's a long series, uh, years of service working for different things for the town. I, he was on the Elementary School Building Committee, Board of Health, and I have no idea how many other things he was on. Hmm. He made some tough and appropriate decisions for the town regarding the Board of Health in uh, one developer wanted to put in their private sewer system and deed it over to the town. This is what Sunderland is wrestling with now. And uh, they did not allow that. And that was a blessing to the, our town because they don't work, at least not for a long time. Well, the biggest problem is when they do fail, what do you do? Well, the town, the town is then reliable. You know, and that, that's a that's that's the problem, yeah. Yeah. So, so for a little yeah walk down memory lane, this nineteen sixty one was a good year. Nineteen sixty one bylaw. It's a pocket size handbook. What was that? Page one of two? Uh, <laughs> it has ten whole pages. Wow. If only the okay, John Martula. If only the tax code was okay. was that short. And Owen McNiff. Yes. So that was the original. The when yeah. when the planning board was first constituted, 
um, were first created. Pages. Those were the, uh, the, the first. Actually, there were two pages uh, regarding frontage on West Street and a couple of other little nuanced situations that were the original bylaws. And this was a check the box by a dean from Amherst College, Ted Bacon, who was on the planning board in Amherst and uh, before Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, uh, he said, how much frontage do you want? 100 feet, 125 feet, 150 feet? So he wrote the bylaw and all you have to do is check off the box what you wanted for your town. And it was uh, then given to our town council and that's the way it was approved. And it used to be really handy when you were doing zoning work in other towns if they all had similar bylaws. Exactly. <laughs> and bylaws back then, sections were maybe a, at most a page, maybe sometimes two. And that was, it was adequate. Then developers got very creative and innovative. And now they're up to a single section sometimes is to cover the bases is sometimes 10, 15, 20 pages. What one clever paragraph that was inserted initially uh, was people would say, well, the, the bylaws is worded in a mutually exclusive fashion. Nothing is allowed in the town of Hadley except what is listed below. So when somebody came in and says, well, this is not a trailer, it's a tiny house uh, on wheels. Uh, uh, so it, I, I think that was a clever, clever line because as we all have learned, people get creative, like Jim said. I did send a reminder to the select board. They're going to be doing appointments of their own um, that the, um, I think the uh, affordable housing building, uh, the affordable housing trust fund, we were all appointed to, I believe, a three-year term. And I think, I, I'm not quite sure if, if that's up, but I just reminded um, the administrator's office to look at that, um, uh, whether we have to have a reappointment and the uh, neither select board member who is part of the affordable housing trust fund is currently on the board. <clears throat> so they may wanna make some changes there. Okay, yeah. Good point. And I did ask uh, them, uh, Mark, uh, I realized it is, it, you, you're trying not to have any more, any, minimize your entanglements, but um, you are, you have been the, uh, had the planning board representative to the um, Community Preservation Act. And I assumed you wanted, you probably wanted to stick with that because that's, yeah. Uh, we hear that's not much heavy lifting. Jill uh, told me how to do it, so it's it's not too bad. We uh, and I also put you in. A, you're recommended for appointment as the alternate Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, but I will continue to be the primary. Okay, Andrew, how are you enjoying your stint on the uh, housing affordable housing committee? Uh, I like it. We haven't really met all that frequently, but we're meeting tomorrow, so that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Just an update on the afford that the housing production plan. Um, Kincolmia has basically designed a survey that's going to be available um, either online, picked up at the town hall, at the senior center, the library, and the town dump. And it's all about basically housing, different comments, and people will fill them out and return it to either the town hall or the senior center. And we'll do a compilation of the results and kind of like the master plan survey, but it's a lot simpler and see what happens. Um, we need to approve the bill for Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. I didn't get one. Okay. Did you get one? Yeah. Okay. Ken sent one around. Yeah, that went around. I sign off. You can approve that with only four of you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen.
I must have missed that one. Where is Ken's invoice? OSDI bylaw. Jim, are we going to have any say so uh, before that questionnaire is going to be sent out by uh, Pioneer Valley? No, that wasn't the plan. It was basically going to be looked at by the housing housing that that committee and sent out. I mean, it's it's more complicated. I remember when uh, the uh, there was concern about the housing on East Street Commons, and when Barry had a uh, focus group, I, a lot of old old people like myself, uh, I wasn't invited. But what do you want to pay? We want to pay two twenty five, two fifty. But this is what you've got. Well, I want a two-car garage, so it increases. Is there a cellar? No. Put a cellar in. Bedroom is there too small. We want granite countertops. So now you're up to 375, 400. So people are going to have a wish list. But how can you follow a wish list? Yeah, that that that's not the way this survey is being laid well, out. When you read it. It's okay. Well, I, I, this isn't this isn't of of what kind of. It, it mean, I'm I'm not sure. I don't want to. I don't want to put. I don't want to lead you astray either. What this thing is going to have. I can send you a copy of what it's going to be, but it's not. It's not being designed by review of other committees before we send it out. It's being the the, the committee was assigned to may do this project. And the committee's putting the two cents in. I mean, I can send it out to you. You can take a look at it. Um, well, I think point. we saw it already. Didn't we see it already? Uh, yeah, it, it was. I, I saw oh, it. Oh, the, yeah. the first one that he sent out was way more complicated than what we're seeing. But anyways, no, okay. anyways, okay. I won't. I, I won't beat on that one anymore. Um, so I, I put up the. Uh, the invoice, I'll make a motion to pay PVPC 1586.92. Second. Any other discussion on the invoice? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Bill, could you send it to me? Because I couldn't find that. I just emailed I just it to you again. Okay. I just sent it to you, Jim. Okay. So. I must have somehow deleted it or lost it or whatever. Thank you. Okay. And do you need the uh, Sally Beauty? Uh... No, I found, oh, wait a minute. I did find a Sally's. Let me find out which one I have. What are you looking for? And I want to commend the board for being so patient with that uh, lady because she, she ripped this pretty badly uh, from what I understand that she couldn't get through and she thought we were uh, silencing her. Well, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing we didn't, she didn't get through last week because clearly she wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see, <clears throat> let me get up Tim's again. When was that sent out, Bill? Um, last week. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Um, okay, May 23rd. I, I show that I forwarded, I, it has a symbol that I forwarded it, but I'm gonna send it to you directly, Jim. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that make it just sort of find a search all over the place for it. Thank you. Okay. Came on kit from Ken on June 14th at 3 02 p.m. Uh the um well, that was some of the going back and forth, but the uh the one that I had, uh, yeah, the uh, the one that uh, was May twenty third was the uh, uh, the one that had the revised plans. 
Okay. Yep, I got him. Thank you. We're good. You just double check that that's the. Yes, I just looked at it. Yeah. Okay. And I got the I got car side house. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Anything? I don't have anything. Anybody else have anything? I did. Uh, I talked with Ken and. Um, he thought we left it a little vague about whether we wanted him back tonight or the next meeting. But I said, since we've already put in the final invoice, why don't we just meet with him on uh, uh, July 5th, I think is our next meeting. Okay. Um, so we'll put him down for then. Uh, I did think we were going to get a presentation from or a submission of plans on the Howard Johnson's. <clears throat> And I am not sure, I guess they just didn't make it tonight. Okay. Oh, just a quick, uh, could you add Andrew to the distribution list for the agenda, Mr. Dwyer? Okay. Uh, do I have an email for you? I can you, email you and get Yeah, it. just email me at planning at hadleyma.org so I have yours and I'll add it to the next okay. mailing. I have nothing else. Anybody have anything? If not, motion to adjourn. So moved. You're coming over, Zeke? Zeke, yep. you're coming over? Yes. Okay. When do you guys want to second it first? Second, second, second pizza. <laughs> thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is history. Thank you. Thank you, John. And meeting on power already signed off. Thank you, Andrew. Good night, all. Good night. <laughs>